I thought this new Google Exports feature update needed a video, so I just wanted to go through it with you quickly. So first of all, let me show you our new settings area and how this works. So as you can see just here, we now have this Google Sheets um, section and it's quite different to how it looked before. So once you get here, you can go ahead and start adding your Google Sheets. Now, as before, you could only have one Google Sheets. Well, now you can have as many as you like and you can also include the tabs within those sheets. So let me go ahead and show you how. So you will click on add a row here. As you can see, I've already done that. And then you would head over to your Google Sheets and the section that you're going to need is this bit just here. So you would go ahead and you would copy that and we go ahead and paste it into there. So let's do another tab. So as you can see at the bottom of my Google Sheets, I've got Argos and Walmart. So let's go ahead and add another one in here. Um, what can we, oops, we've got too many. Um, what can we call this one? Let's call this one Tesco. Um, and then we go back over here and we've got our tab ID. So we want to type it exactly as the tab is called. So we're going to call it Tesco. And here we're going to put BBP Tesco just so that's going to be the name that shows on the front of Firebot Pro. So we'll go ahead and we'll click save and sync. And next I'm going to show you something that's going to happen if you aren't yet, if you haven't yet given the right permissions to Bybot Pro. So obviously we're going to analyze and then we're going to come down here and we're going to try and click on Bybot Pro Tesco. And as you can see, this pop-up opens and this is where we need to give the correct permissions to Bybot Pro in order for us to be able to do the Google Sheet export. So here you're going to need to click allow and then as you can see, you get this just here, copied to buy, um, BBP Tesco. And if we head over here, you'll be able to see that it has added in the deal just there. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and add it on um, BBP Argos and BBP Walmart. Obviously, as always, you can add, add in your source URL just here. So if you did actually have something from Argos, Walmart or Tesco's, then you could add in the source URL there and it will go onto those sheets also. So let's take a look at Argos. It's there and also on Walmart. It's there as well. So as I said, it is super important that you use the exact tab ID when you are adding in these sheets. So next, let's show you how we add in a second one. It's basically exactly the same process. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this URL just here, paste it in there. And then as you can see down here, I have already added in two tabs and I have done this on the basis that it is for different virtual assistants. So, oops, we don't want that one. Um, so then here we are going to type in Julia and maybe that's all that we call that one as well. And then I just want to show you down here, there's also these customizable settings. So you can have these interchangeable um, for each Google tab, um, Google Sheet tab and Google Sheet. So you can change the way that the, set, the columns are exporting just there and then we've also got this auto export just here so that you can choose exactly which ones you want to auto export on so let's click save and sync again and then we will analyze and then we'll come down here and you will be able to see that we now have this julia tab as well so oh that one didn't work i wonder why Please make sure your tab ID is correct. So maybe we've not spelt it right or something like that. So Julia is correct, but I wonder if it's got a space on the end. Yes, it does. So hopefully we should be able to do it now. Let's give it another go. There we go, I'm a copy to Julia. So that was actually a really good thing to be able to show you. I had accidentally added in a space on the end and it made it so that that particular tab wouldn't work. So it is super important to make sure that you copy it exactly as it is in your Google Sheet because otherwise it will do that error. So as you can see, it's now there on Julia's tab 
and yeah so that that's basically it if you have any questions at all then please do let me know um let's just head back over to this settings bit just here um so as you can see um you can click on customizable um just to show you that and then if you wanted to delete any of them it's just this button just here so all that you need to remember is you can now add multiple Google Sheets and their tab IDs and you just have to click on these buttons just here to be able to export to the exact Google Sheet and tab that you would like to. Obviously the tab ID is completely optional. If you just want to carry on using Google Sheets in the same way that you did before, you do not need to add the tab ID in there. It could be a good idea for me to show you that actually so let's just quickly go ahead and create another google sheet so we'll just call this demo 3 and we'll copy this id just here as we did for the other ones go back over here and we're just going to quickly add one more enter in the Google Sheets ID there. Now the name is totally optional as well. If you don't add um, an, a name, then it will just show you the Google Sheets ID. Um, but we'll just type in demo three here and click save and sync. So the tab ID is completely optional. And then we'll go ahead and we'll analyze again. And then we'll go down here and we will click Oh, we need to fix that bit too. It's always good to do these videos because it lets me see um, the bits that we haven't noticed. So anyway, we'll click on demo three and as you can see, it is now there as well. So you can use it in exactly the same way that you used it before. You don't need to use the tab ID, but it is just a nice little added extra should you wish to do so. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you have any questions at all, then please just let me know in the comments. And I hope you love this feature as much as we do. See you soon.